Hello Collective, welcome aboard. This is a collective reading. So, we're going to see what the energy is like. I'm just going to try to do something kind of brief because I had a, a busy day. Okay, but I wanted to come out here and do something. Um, so, we're going to see what the energy is like. Please hit that uh, subscribe button. If you haven't joined the Soul Tribe, I invite you to subscribe and if this resonates for you please give it a like hit that thumbs up I really do appreciate it also guys I really do appreciate your donations um, again I'm not gonna say who in specific but I just want you guys to know please do not make sure that all your responsibilities are being taken care of okay I don't want anyone going uh, broke uh, tipping me you know blessing me with donations so um, just make sure you know because sometimes I start to feel guilty here accepting donations especially if I see one person um, you know that it constantly does it so I just want to make sure that for all of you that you know your responsibilities are being taken care of and that you can you know I don't I don't know what your financial situation is but I just you know I get concerned sometimes because I'm like you know I don't know it's just you know I just I just want to make sure you all right before you bless me or anyone else okay but I do appreciate it greatly so I thank you very very much um, for all the times that you guys have blessed me um, and there's one person in specific so thank you so much okay all right and all that information for anyone else is below the video in the description box okay so let's see what the energy's like all right wow what's going on we got a family feud over here a little drama at the at the home front or is this um competition for someone that Maybe there's two people that want to be with you long term. I don't know. And I'm hearing that song, Family Affair. It's a family affair. Yeah, you may be two people's wish fulfillment. Or this family needs some healing. <laughs> they need faith. Let's see what's going on here, collective. Because I gotta have faith. Ooh, I gotta have faith, cause I gotta have faith, the faith, the faith, I gotta have faith, the faith, the faith, baby. Ooh, two of cups, two of cups. You're like, hey, you know, I've been meaning to tell you this for a long time, and, you know, I kind of fancy you a little bit. I was wondering if maybe you fancy me too. What do you say? Okay, somebody wants to talk to you, Collective. I for... Ooh, I don't like that. Yeah, you better be careful. That does not be no... I mean, we're not... We're, I gotta see how this reading plays out, but... I don't like that. Somebody try to bind you by telling you they're their soulmate? Let's see. Or somebody's a little toxic here. Or obsessed going on here wheel of fortune hmm devil in the details trying to sway you huh yep trying to get you in a karmic cycle this is a karmic this could be a karmic soul tie definitely this scream is karmic soul tie what's going on here like hey baby you want to do it one more time one more time one more again let's go on this toxic Roller coaster one more time. Hell to the no. What's going on here, collective? Some of you are getting into a karmic relationship because you may need to. You may you may have something to learn. Alright? That's a side note. I'm gonna see what's happening here. Mm-hmm. Codependent relationship. Five of Pentacles. Yep. Somebody wants to rush in. Knight of Swords with the Devil. Could be a Capricorn for some of you. Three of Cups. Okay. Okay. 
there's a divine intervention here in a good way. So there's definitely two people <laughs> fighting over you. Maybe not personally fighting over you, but that will be, um, you will be pulled in two directions. Judgment. Somebody here is toxic. Yeah, definitely somebody wants another round and it's a karmic. It's a karmic soul tie or somebody lying to you saying that they're your soulmate. Hell no. Hell no, we won't go. Yeah, I don't blame you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're like, I'm out of here. <laughs> no, you left. That was it. It was a done deal. It was dramatic. You left to cover water. Spirit said, come on, I got you. Let's go. Okay, you may, you might have left uh, secretly too here. Or it was unexpected. This person did not expect you to just leave. You learned that lesson. Okay, so there was a karmic cycle here. Now, remember guys that energy is fluid. Time is an illusion. Okay? And um, what happened to you yesterday could be today for someone or tomorrow. Past, present, future energy. Always keep that in mind that we're all at different levels. Experiencing different things or similar things at different times. Alright? So... Keep that in mind. There are a lot of people watching. So if it's not for you or if it's outdated for you, then, you know, move on. If this happened to you last week, last month, six months ago, or it's going to happen, okay? Because sometimes we, we may not resonate right now. And then later on, as I've said before, you know, it could be your scenario. Then you'll find yourself back here be like, oh, right now I see what you were saying. All right? So keep that in mind. Yep. The chariot, devil running after you. Somebody's upset that you're moving on or that you did. The empress, look at that. You changed your fate by leveling up. Yeah, spirit, I feel spirit is celebrating you. This is the divine celebrating with you that you learned a major lesson and you had a major glow up. Okay, you, you took heed is what I see here. <laughs> Why am I hearing that? <laughs> I'm hearing, ah, uh, said, ah, uh, said, ah, uh, I ain't no chicken hawk. You about to exceed the limitations of my medication. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> King of Pentacles. Okay, wait a minute, wait a minute. So somebody's coming towards you, or who's this? Ooh. I heard somebody's for the streets. I heard this is somebody from the streets, or for the streets. Okay. So this is a, maybe this is the kind of person that has a hard time staying in one place. Active, always active, always needing to be in, in, in a situation. Yeah, I'm hearing avoidance. Okay, the devil is here, so we're going to clarify who this is, but if we're talking about one person right here, you may have a soul tied to somebody that's just, you know, they're not leveling up just yet. So if they're under judgment, okay. It's going to be a King of Pentacles in reverse, but also, of course, somebody wants a, another go round here. There's definitely another person. Okay. There's somebody here that's not showing face, and it could just be because they are the devil themselves. Somebody was definitely in a karmic cycle. There may be a third person here because I see it with the Three of Cups. You were destined to meet this person and align with this person, but something came in here fast. And it was a codependent person here. So there could be a karmic here. Um, that either this King of Pentacles dealt with or this is the karmic. 
energy. So that's what I'm trying to figure out. But definitely there was a karmic cycle and then there is some sort of soul connection. I feel like you're moving towards the king of pentacles in the upright when I look at it this way though. Because we have the six of swords, the chariot, victory, leveling up with the empress, and go going towards a king of pentacles. Somebody that you would consider husband material. Okay? Or some of you are, you know, being the boss in your own life. But still maintaining that feminine aspect of yourself. But I feel like you're going towards something else after a, psych a, a karmic situation. Whether it involved a third party or not. Okay. Let's clarify Nine of Cups. What's behind that though? Yeah, wow. Ooh, somebody wants wish fulfillment with you. It could be a secret. Somebody secretly sees you as a, a wife or you see someone as a husband. Nine of Cups. With the Hierophant. Could be a Taurus or a, or a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sag. Doesn't have to be. Could be a Pisces, Cancer or Scorpio. Ace of Cups. I feel like this is hidden feelings, hidden love. Or you have hidden feelings towards someone that you see as a wish fulfillment. Someone you quite find attractive. But somebody's trying to steal. Oh, somebody's trying to get in the way. So, yeah, that's what we saw in the beginning. Five of Wands, Ten of Cups. Somebody's trying to get in where they can fit in. They want to apologize. And they're, they're doing it by deception. Lies. Lies. To take you away from someone. So is there somebody jealous that you're moving forward? Because for some of you, while somebody was out dealing with someone. Or being low vibrational. Whatever they were doing. Maybe partying or whatever. You were leveling up. And now there's somebody else. Two of Pentacles. Three of Cups. Destiny playing a role here and the devil in the details. Okay. Just give me that crossroads vibe. Yeah, somebody, two people are watching. Or is this one person with bad intentions? The moon is here. This could be somebody in their shadow. Why do I feel like somebody's trying to come into your life to get you in a karmic situation? All right. Uh, spirit, let's keep this simple today because I have a headache. Oh, nice. Hell. Huh? Okay, let's clarify some things. Who is this Two of Cups situation? What is this? Something you need to think about. Okay. Or that someone is thinking about. Could be a Virgo. Somebody's thinking about courting you, perhaps. Tell me more about this Hermit. Yeah, they're making some sort of choice, decision. Very withdrawn with the Seven of Wands. Whoever this is. Fears. Dreams. Wish. What's behind that? Oh, Ace of Wands. I could be dreaming about making love to you. Or, you know. Somebody's wishing to make love to you. But we have a ten of swords here. Ah, this person gave to someone else. Yeah. Page of Pentacles, three of swords. In the past. And the tower came in. Emperor. Ooh, having a hard fall. Okay, so somebody... Yeah, that's what I was expecting. Or, you know kind of seeing here 
somebody might have chose someone in the past. They chose a karmic. Um, so there was some sort of betrayal here. Like I said, while they were out doing what they were doing, being low vibrational and entertaining whoever or whomever, however many they entertained or not, you were having a glow up. And I feel like you're going towards something else. But this person definitely wants something with you. Um, where's the Empress headed here? This wanted to come in reverse. I feel like you're no longer playing the victim, obviously, here with the Chariot and the Six of Swords. And you're moving forward. Yes, you're moving towards wish fulfillment. Yep, Three of Pentacles. Some of you could be about to embark on something. Maybe an opportunity is about to present itself. Okay. Could be collaborating with others when it comes to business. This could be something that comes up. I don't feel, I don't know if it's come up yet. Okay, so that's going to be different for all of you. It could be you're gonna meet a you're gonna meet someone and this is gonna be a burden for someone else because they know they're gonna miss their opportunity for being in their ego and going towards somebody else, yeah. And taking too long. Wow. <laughs> so this person had a lot of options. Or they just chose someone else, they were in their ego, and it ended up being a burden because they didn't want this gift that the divine was showing them at the time clearly yeah they're full of regrets okay this could be somebody that drinks a lot they're definitely drinking drowning their sorrows king of swords vibes king of cups vibes the fool yeah shoulda woulda coulda yeah now you're at a distance Okay, well, yeah, independent. Look at that. Wow, nine of pentacles, ten of pentacles. What the hell are y'all doing? Keeping it a secret. Wish. Ace of wands. Okay. I feel like there is an opportunity that's going to present itself. I don't know if it has or it hasn't. I feel like it hasn't. It's a wish come true. There's the moon with the ten of pentacles, nine of pentacles with the ace of wands. While this person could be um, watching, yeah, somebody from the past is watching, they're a breadcrumber, they betrayed you, they're kind of selfish, not kind of, they were selfish, because they're coming from a broken place. Yeah, this is an emperor in reverse, going through a tower moment. Okay, so, who is this king of pentacles here? Your justice. Yeah, with the sun. Okay, yeah, you're going towards the right direction. You're going to bump into somebody here. They are your justice. They're about truth and fairness. The committed type. In their light. Okay. They nurture what they have. All right. This is somebody that's enjoying the fruits of his labor, his or her labor. see here. Tell me more about this King of Pentacles. Queen of Wands. This may be somebody that um, you like or there's some sort of justice for, for somebody because of a Queen of Wands. King of Cups. Oh, yeah, they got a secret crush. So they, they find you attractive. So they're already watching. Okay. They could see you as, as fair and just. You could have Libra or Aries Leo Sag here. We have Scorpio Pisces Cancer. Uh, Taurus Virgo Capricorn. All in this little mix. Could be anyone. We have Cancer here. The Empress, Libra, Taurus. 
Sagittarius vibes here. Um, yeah, this person's very attracted to you. It's, it's. I feel like it's a secret. Oh uh, yeah. They see you as enlightened, or this person is enlightened with the King of Cups, the High Priest, High Priest, High Priestess, with the Hangman and the Eight of Pentacles. They're working on themselves. Breaking free of uh, conscious patterns here. Yeah. Eight of Swords in reverse. Now there is some jealousy here. When it comes to you. Or there's a low vibrational Queen of Cups in reverse. The Tower. Whoever this is, man. Dang. Somebody trying to either trap this person. Is this a Queen of Cups in reverse with the Five of Swords, Eight of Swords, and the Tower? Who's she talking to? Tell me more here. What's going on here? Yeah, they're thinking about these feelings, reflecting. So somebody's looking at this cup and they're planning on moving forward here. So is this here? That looks like somebody that's here in their in in, in their um, thoughts. Okay, so this person. This person's in a karmic cycle. Or was. And then you came out of nowhere here with the Empress. So they're learning a lesson and coming towards you. But why is there somebody? Yeah. Uh -huh. So what's going on here with the Knight of Swords, Three of Cups, Five of Pentacles? Yeah, lies and deception. Could have been some cheating going on when it came. If this is somebody coming towards you that you know nothing about, it's like your justice. They just went through some stuff. Somebody they spent um, a long time with. Could have even been a childhood sweetheart or something like that. Has been lying. There's a third party here. There's like some sort of argument or somebody got caught. Oh. Damn, what am I seeing here? What I feel like somebody was out. They lied about going out. Right? It's like, oh, I'm just going to so-and-so's house, right? And then all of a sudden, they went to the club or something. I don't know. <laughs> And somebody was driving by and saw them out there. And they were, maybe they were both arguing outside after that. That's what it feels like. It's a weird ass reading. Okay. I don't know. Somebody got caught doing something. This is somebody that's really debating moving forward. They feel a, a, some sort of connection to you. They will be learning a lesson and moving forward success, successfully, victoriously, towards the Empress. You've been through a lot, so, you know, you don't want to be hurt anymore. So you're going to be looking at this person like, who, who are you, what, what do you, or unless you know who it is. This person is really analyzing these feelings, though. They are holding on to this cup. Like, they're not, this King of Pentacles is not ignoring this cup. Or whoever they are. Whether it's a Libra, a, a, or a water sign, or a, or an earth sign. They're highly attracted to you. Clarify this devil. Yeah, that's the end of that. Good. Okay, end of a karmic situation. Yeah, somebody got the strength to 
and something. Yeah. Confidence. With the strength. There's a Leo or Scorpio here as well. Yeah. Protecting their energy, walking away from a relationship. Yeah. They don't want to hold back anymore when it comes to someone here. The lovers with temperance. Yeah, that was a heavy burden. They're trying to put that burden down, put it to rest. And, you know, it's a new day kind of energy. Yep, they're trying to manifest something new. But there is competition here. Yeah, they're definitely watching you. Why is there so many people surrounding your energy? Like, are these contenders, or uh, maybe not contenders, but people that are... I see there's a lot of people watching you. That may want to manifest you. The sun and the magician, that's good energy. Spend some time with you. But some of them, of course, they want to hit it and split it. We ain't entertaining that. Alright. Tell me about judgment. Wish fulfillment. Wow. There it is again. Okay. You're having some sort of... You got a lot of things coming. Because this seven of cups, this is something different. Slowly approaching. Wish fulfillment. And someone else will be in regret. Yeah, because they did not take a leap of faith. So it looks like you're going to have it all, is what I'm seeing, with someone. And somebody here is, will be in regret or is already in regret. You're having wish fulfillment. You've waited for this for a long time. Slow and steady wins the race. Okay. God made a judgment call and you get wish, wish fulfillment because you have the rite of passage here. You're walking faith. You purified your energy. You've, you've been healing. Okay. Uh, let's see. What does this King of Pentacles want to say? Strength. Ego? What is this? Ace? Okay, they need the strength. This is somebody that will invest in you. Yeah, you make my heart full. Okay, so maybe they have not broken up with this karmic yet. And they need the strength to do this. Because it is toxic with the devil here. Or codependent. Something is toxic about it. What else does this King of Pentacles have to say? So they could be with a Queen of Wands or they're just watching you. I feel like that Queen of Wands did something for Justice to be there. I want to start a family with you. Yeah. That's what we saw in the beginning. Now if the person they're with wants to start a family with them, they're like, I think we should see other people. Because I feel like this is a person feeling a connection with you. Like a soul connection. Some people ask, well, how do you know if you've never met the person if it's your soulmate? How would they know that or think that? You would already be experiencing this person on a dream state. You would feel something different when you see this person, even if it's in a picture online. Some people just have that kind of intuition. But um, you would be having signs and synchronicities about this person already. Definitely you would be dreaming about them. Even if you can't see their face, you would be having experiences that indicate that someone special is walking into your life. Okay, let's see what else. What, is it? what else does he want to say? He or she. I can't even look at you right now. I would do anything for you. 
so yeah I still don't have all the answers yeah the reason they can't look at you right now is because first off they don't have all the answers right because they feel this but they're not sure so I feel like this is not somebody that has made a move on you yet because they're in a toxic situation they're in a karmic cycle that's for sure so that's only here for a season and a reason that's what karmic cycles are about they're about learning some sort of lesson that has to do with some sort of self-love self-worth okay the mirror aspect but this person's falling in, you got this person falling in love yeah they don't have the answers they don't know how many people or options you have going on because this this is not somebody entertaining you at the moment I feel like they don't even really know you to be honest they don't have all the answers that's too many so let's let's try that again happiness is my priority yeah they try to ground themselves because they find themselves in their head about this and then they start thinking well what if I'm wrong you know what am I doing like I don't even know this person how do I even go about this because I, I just feel like you don't really know this person but spirit is aligning you to this and this person I see it right here it is coming together just right now something needs to close and it's that karmic cycle That's the way these things happen in the spirit realm and the background. You know, we just don't see it. Okay, gossip only hurts more. Love is the answer. I meant what I said. I don't want to lose you. There's something about gossip. Somebody's lying to this person. They were definitely with somebody else. So I feel like this person had to spin the block in order to catch someone here with someone else. This Queen of Wands could be a Queen of Wands in reverse. They did something. And these people are gossiping about it. But they don't have all the answers. So they're trying to figure something out. They're trying to figure out if they've been cheated on. When they do, the tower moment is coming. Okay, I see. This person being manipulated. Uh, tell me more. I meant what I said. Yeah, when they find out whatever they're trying to find answers to, they're going to tell this person, I think we should see other people. Happiness is my priority, and I meant what I said. That's what I'm getting. Because love is the answer. This is not somebody that, yeah, this is a King of Cups, King of Pentacles vibe. This is not somebody that wants to stay with somebody when the love is gone or or they're being betrayed. This is your wish fulfillment, I feel, with this person. Tell me about this Hermit and this Two of Cups. I worry about us a lot I just want space which they are withdrawn here from this karmic what do you want yeah they want to know what you want this person wants to manifest you and it says yes okay with yeah and look at that definitely okay that is like super a confirmation that this person wants to manifest you so they're trying to withdraw from this other person so they can make this so they can make a clear choice with the two of swords here because this person is always worrying about this connection they're in and it's because it's karmic of course they don't they probably don't know about karmic relationships okay they, I don't know if this person I don't think they watch tarot or anything like that so they don't understand the concept of these cycles. Mm. 
but they're manifesting you. Yeah, this is a manifestation. It's a wish fulfillment. Uh, tell me about the star and the ten of pentacles. I miss you, do you? There is somebody else here as well. Okay. And somebody is ready or getting ready. Wrongful advice. Somebody's getting wrongful advice. I feel like somebody's ready for something new and they're getting wrongful advice. Yeah. It's like they they want to be ready for this, right? They wonder if you care. Like, do you feel the same? They need some time for themselves, of course, after this karmic situation to really, uh, so, so they're not coming to you on the rebound, at least not in a relationship manner, right? And do you think about me too? They're like, I'm too afraid to talk to you. But my life started when I met you. So they saw you as a wish fulfillment. Sex, I'm in so much pain. I imagine you naked. I'm manifesting you. What do I feel like when this person... Yeah, this person is falling in love. I, I can't explain the situation. Only you guys would know. But it's because they're they're you're opening this person's heart because you're you're meant to. There's the soulmate. I mean, they can't even explain it themselves. They're just going by what their intuition and their and what they're feeling right now. Um, I feel like they can't even be intimate with this karmic. Because they feel like they're living a lie. Like when they are, it's like it doesn't feel good with I'm in so much pain right next to sex. And I feel like it's because they don't really want to break this person's heart. I don't know if the cheating or whatever this karmic was doing came to light yet. Let me see here. What's going on in this uh, cycle? We have motivation, grief. Two very different energies, motivation and grief. House. Some I feel like they're going through depression, to be honest. They don't they lack motivation to maybe even get out of the house. Addiction. Is this the karmic? What is this? Yeah. They're dealing with someone that... Um, they have addictions and they could cry a lot to... Because I feel like... The motivation. Motivation, conflict, addiction, grief. Like, this karmic is toxic as fuck. <laughs> uh, boy. Yeah, look at that. It's all a fucking battle, conflict, addictions, grief. I feel like this is this person. Like, why do you treat me like this? Like, is this person being abused? It's what it feels like. Okay. 
Okay. Stability. This, yeah, I feel like they need more stability. It feels like this person's very motivated. They're stable. But they're dealing with, like, the polar opposite. A very, uh, just really, like, ugh, Debbie Downer energy. In the worst, but also, like, argumentative. Yeah, there's a shift going to happen here. Yeah, towards the Queen of Hearts. Or when they saw you, it shifted everything. That's what I'm getting. Yeah. They're feeling guided towards you where there's more balance. Yeah, they want to meet up with you. I told you, they're falling in love. They admire you. They may want to have a child with you. Okay? They want to, they want to end this karmic cycle. Yeah. Could be married. Or this karmic is trying to be this person's wife. But it feels forced. Okay. With protection, this person, yeah, this person's moving. After some sort of information. Yeah, there's something that they need to find out. They will have success, and there you go. Breakup. They're going to find out something. And this, break, this is going to break this up. Like, you change the whole direction of this person's life. But it's because spirit put you in this person's life um, to get them out of the situation and to get them to, um, you know, maybe reflect and heal on some certain things on why they attracted that in the first place. But this seems like a really good person. I feel like they're very stable and motivated, but they got with somebody that's very toxic. They may see you as very stable and motivated. Is what I'm seeing here. What else? Yeah, look at that. Help. I feel like that person needs help or they were being abused. Yeah, you're on phase. You don't know about what this is. You're going to have success. I feel like you're focused on, I don't know, just having success. Or this person wants success with you. I keep seeing this friends card. Yeah, there's even like a battle with friends. Or they're talking to their friends about this. There's the child again with work and the lady. Some of you could just be focused on work and your children. But there's something about a signature here. Signature, the lady, the child with work. This could be the opportunity, guys. Some sort of opportunity. Maybe to work with children. Okay, maybe some of you have some sort of wisdom or something. Or you're some sort of teacher. Maybe this person wants you to work with children. I don't know, it's something like that. But you're unfazed. Yeah, somebody definitely break up with the treason. Hmm. Take it how it resonates, guys. Okay. Um, clarify the child. 
person looks like he's they're so stressed I mean how could they not be they're dealing with um, somebody here that's just ugh. what is this child two of cups Definitely, this is a soulmate. They may want to have a child with you. Yeah, they want to have children with you. Nine of Cups. But man, this person's going through a lot. Five of Cups, Nine of Wands. The Emperor. They are really sad. Yeah, this is Nine of Wands in reverse with the Hangman. Eight of Pentacles. Four of Pentacles. Like, this is not somebody playing around. They're trying to be patient. Knight of Pentacles. We have the Ten of Cups, Two of Swords. Oh, so they're the ones conflict. They were conflicted. I feel like this person wants to start a family. Now I get it. Okay. So that was the Five of Wands and the Ten of Cups we saw when I first split the deck at the beginning of the reading. They thought that, okay, so they got with someone thinking future reference that they were going to get married and start a family. But then they ended up with someone toxic and it's a karmic. So now they find themselves in this situation and spirit somehow put you in front of this person somehow because you're soulmates and now they're looking at you they this is what they feel they really do feel like you they were destined to see you meet you however this happened and the person they want to have children with is you collective for whoever resonates here not with this person they're with they know that with you it would be stable. Wow. Tell me more here. Seven of Cups. That was a little dance there. Yeah. This is over for whatever this is. Okay. They're not thinking about anybody else this is the tower and the two of wands the crossroads yeah king king and queen of pentacles they don't want to be with that person anymore yeah four of wands yeah three of swords heartbreak after being with someone for a long time seven of pentacles but they have anxiety, nine of wands, three of cups, about walking away. So they haven't done this yet. Yeah, ten of wands. They're about to drop it, though. It's, it's definitely a burden. It's just like any day they're going to say something. Yeah, the herm that's why they're withdrawing. And it's, okay, when someone is ready to break up with someone, you'll notice that they withdraw. They spend a little less time. They become a little more quiet. That's what's happening here. They no longer really fight, argue back. I don't feel like this person's argumentative. I feel like the person they're with really is. And they've gotten into a place where they know that all they want is out. But they're, you know, and they're in pain. They're genuinely in pain about it. Because they had plans. They thought this would be different. Whatever they had, they were in with this karmic. And now you bring them faith and hope and love. And that's what they're looking at. They're focused on with the lovers, the hermit, and the hierophant. Yeah, they're going to go through a major transformation here. They're watching you. Page of Swords. Yeah, you're single and uh, independent, stable. The world. Yeah. Yeah, look, they've been watching. They see you as a gift, as Ace of Pentacles. They're going to go right through you. To you, through you, um, when they close out this cycle. They do have fears, of course. They get in their head. 
But there is a lesson being learned here. Six of uh, Swords going towards the Queen of Cups. Four of Swords reflecting. Five of Pentacles. Ace of Cups. Yeah, they do need a little healing. They do need a little self-worth. Yeah, they secretly are falling in love. The moon with the Ace of Cups and the Ace of Wands. This person, mm -hmm. they definitely admire you with the Empress and the Six of Wands. Yeah, with the Queen of Swords, they love your, your like your mindset, your sass, your strength. Um, they see you as the lady. Wish fulfillment. Wow. This person's all in a whirlwind over there. So while you're pretty much like unbothered, unfazed, um, having success in your life, or you're, you know, you're about to have a lot of success, because I do see an opportunity here. This could be an opportunity that you created for yourself. As far as your business, if you're an entrepreneur or an opportunity that's coming towards you when it comes to finances. Let's get a card for that. What is this uh, Ten of Pentacles, the star energy? And you're unfazed about it. So... Or something's just going to start to flourish all of a sudden. Overnight is also what I'm getting. Yeah, partnership. Joining forces with business partner for win-win co um, cooperation. Prioritize your connections. And that was that Three of Pentacles that I saw earlier. Yeah. Like I said, flourish, fruits of labor. It's time to reap the fruits of your labor and become rich. Rich gain is here. This partnership could be between you and spirit. Okay? Because I do see them here on your side, celebrating your wins with you. As well. Okay? So take the how it resonates. Some of you are partnering up with this person. Some of you, you're partnering with spirit. And that's why... You're getting wish fulfillment. You're being blessed. Things are starting to flourish. Whatever you put your hard work, time, money in is starting to flourish. And I feel like it's going to be overnight. Yeah. Power. You have the power to take control of your life, career, and finances. Focus on your needs. Yeah, you're going to be chilling. Unfazed. Doing you. Working. While spirit is also not only aligning your bank account. Okay, <laughs> aligning your love life, but you know they're cleaning up in this person's life and and um, giving them signs and synchronicities so that they can uh, clean this mess up. This tower that they're unfortunately has to fall because this is faulty grounds when you try to build something with it with a karmic because it's uh, temporary. So you know up in smoke type of energy. Not up in, I mean, it may look like it's up in flames, but it's eventually going to be up in smoke. Um, no passion there. The love is gone. Okay. So let's see where this is going. Tell me about this connection showing up for the collective. Tell me about um, this soulmate coming towards the collective and how will the connection pan out it looks like it's meant to be so divine timing yeah trust in divine timing love arrives when it's meant to okay and definitely that's right here but you're it's something worth celebrating something to be happy about 
Okay. Yeah, romance. Romantic surprises are on the horizon. Be open to them. I feel like Spirit is like really happy. They've been working like behind the scenes. We have unseen. Love can be blind. Ensure you're not overlooking red flags. And I feel like that is their connection there. Yeah, because we have heartbreak. They're going through heartbreak. Okay. Tell me about the, this King of Pentacles and the Collective or King of Cups. It's an emperor. They're embodying all the kings. Illusions. Be aware of love's illusions. See, see reality clearly. Again, this... Okay. They're, they're seeing past the illusions, right? That's the devil. And it says friendship here. This connection is based on friendship. It may never develop into romance. So they may... Oh, okay. Oh, man, this person may be... Right now they're settling. So there's illusions. That's why divine timing is here. Because right now, there's illusions, right? They don't have all the answers. It says, be aware of love's illusions. See clearly. And there's a connection. They're better off as friends. So if they end up settling. So Spirit is warning you that it may not come together. They're trying to get this person out of the situation and to come towards you. But they have to make that choice out of free will and decision. Um, to move out of that situation, okay? So they're trying not to get your hopes too high, but they're definitely working on getting this person to move forward. There is divine intervention here because this person does need to see something um, because I do see some sort of betrayal, lies and deception from this karmic that they're with. It says settling, avoid settling less than you deserve in love yeah avoid rushing to fill voids with love seek inner fulfillment first so I feel like they rushed in they settled and they were better off as not even friends what I'm seeing is there's no spark I did say here there is no passion the, the love is gone it may never develop into romance they could also be in their head that you know, what they feel for you will never develop because they're settling right now. We have long distance. Love knows no distance. It transcends time and space. So this person could live away from you. We have attraction. You are attracting the right person at the right time into your life. Secrets. Something is, is hidden from you. Someone isn't being truthful. There it is. They are going to find out the truth, and that is what's going to set this person free. Because right now they feel guilty about leaving this person. Because I feel like this person gives them the guilt trip. They're going to find out this person's been lying. Wow. So that spirit is going to put it in their face, basically. So that they come out of this illusion they were in. Even though it feels like settling. They're meant for more. We have gifts. Love's greatest gift is the ability to truly understand one another. If this is somebody like um, you met but never like got to know, like maybe you met them a long time ago and but didn't get to know them because of course they were in something. Um, 
they might have been at the crossroads back then. I don't know if they were like in it or if there was a choice. Because when we split the deck, it was the Five of Wands and the Ten of Cups. They might have, you know, went the wrong way due to temptation or illusions. They might have even started dating a friend. And you were the stranger. I don't know how this came to be, but this person is seeing things clear. But there's something about this karmic they need to find out. And I definitely see them wanting to have children with you. Wow. Alright guys. I'm going to leave it there. I'm not going to make it. Oh, it's already been an hour. Wow. I'm going to leave it there because um, there's a lot going on and I have a headache. So, so I'm going to go eat something. I think I'm just hungry or something. All right. So let me know if you guys resonate. Um, and again, you may not resonate at this point, but maybe in the future. But you will be enjoying the fruits of your labor, okay? With whatever it is you're doing or whatever opportunity or people you are, excuse me, working with. So this is beautiful here. Okay. Destiny. Happy times, happy days. Happy days are here again. Da -da -da -da. Da -da 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 -da. That's right. Making it rain. Spirit's making it rain. In a good way. Alright. I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.